Hi, in this video I will introduce you to the three units of distance that we use when studying astrophysics. First, the astronomical unit. This is simply the mean distance between the Earth and the Sun. That's 1.50 times 10 to the power of 11 metres. The astronomical unit is useful for presenting distances within the solar system, but for distances elsewhere in the galaxy, or even the universe, it is far, far too small to be useful. The second unit you need to know is the light year. This is a unit of distance, not a unit of time. It's the distance travelled by light in a vacuum in one year. So that's 9.46 multiplied by 10 to the power of 15 metres. It's useful for measuring distance within our galaxy or across the universe. Our nearest star after the Sun, Proxima Centauri, is about four light years away. The photons of light that we see from that star have taken four years to reach your eye. The light from the most distant observable objects in the universe began their journey 13 billion years ago when the universe was in its infancy. When we look at the night sky, we are quite literally looking back in time. Finally, we have a unit most famous for being misused in Star Wars, the Parsec. Despite what Han Solo said, it is a unit of distance and not time. It is defined as the distance that produces a parallax angle of one arc second. More about that in another video. The Parsec is equivalent to about 3.3 light years, so it's mainly used for measurements within the galaxy. For intergalactic measurements, the megaparsec, one million parsecs, is commonly used. Thank you for watching this video from Cowan Physics. If you found it useful, please like, subscribe, and visit cowanphysics.com.